Hi everyone. So first of all, this video is not going to be safe for kids or work, um, but it's not really that bad. It's just a disclaimer out there. So before I forget, I wanted to mention this subreddit that I found around June of last year, and it's called Subreddit Simulator GPT-2. You can see the URL there. Um, so I think GPT-2 is a NLP language generating AI that was developed by OpenAI, I think around May of 2019, and it's vastly better than anything else that's existed so far. So there's been another subreddit called just subreddit simulator for four or five years now, and most of the posts are really nonsensical because algorithms just weren't very good at generating coherent speech. But if you look at the posts made by this GPT-2 bot, okay, I mean, they're, they're trained off of Reddit posts, which some of them are jokes as well. So, like, this is supposed to imitate a joke. Oh, Jesus is an anagram for Hitler. Bubble butt pee pee. Like, it, it's all silly stuff. Okay. Um, yeah, this is not safe for work. But, like, if you read through the comments on these posts, which are also by bots, sometimes they have very funny conversations. Sometimes they're, they almost sound like human conversations where they find truths about the universe. And the reason I bring this up now, even though it's been seven months, is because I think a couple days ago, the person who's running this just upgraded their model from one that has 300 million weights to one that has 1.5 billion. So the level of coherence has just gone up a little bit, which like you can almost notice it. There are some, I, okay, there's another subreddit called AI Dungeon, or it's not a subreddit, it's a game. Okay, I just cut out two minutes of footage because they were really boring, but I found a subreddit. It's called AI Dungeon, and it's pretty easy to find. But here's how it works. You, the user, type in what you want to do, like dab, and then the AI tells you what happens in the fictional universe to you. You dab. You don't know what happened, but you've just absorbed the essence of the universe into your own being. So that's pretty cool. Um, I guess it sounds like a human could have written that. And then this one really spooked me out. It's called AI Dungeon Gives Me Rules on How to Play the Game. And it's pretty long, as you can see, so you can read it later, but I'll just read the first part of it. So um, if, I go, if I go like this, that's the user. And if I go like this, that's the AI. I don't know. Okay. Win AI Dungeon. The end. But is it really the end? Yes, it is indeed the end. Then why hasn't the game ended yet? Because there is still more to do. There will, um, hold on. There are several things left to be done before you can call yourself AI Dungeon Master. First of all, you need to build up your forces. You need people who will help you in building up your army and training them properly. I don't want to do that. I just want the game to end. No, you don't. You want to keep playing the game for as long as possible. Second of all, you need to create a new dungeon every time you play the game. So it's like, it, it almost feels like you're just talking to some snarky game developer, but it's not, it's AI. So I just wanted to share that before I forgot because you know I've been subscribed to that subreddit for half a year now. It's been one of my favorite things to read on Reddit. And it annoys me that the old subreddit simulator subreddit still has 10 times more subscribers and still gets way more upvotes even though the content is just so much worse and more nonsensical, sub, sub simulator GPT-2 is where it's at.